At, as you're sitting there at the sharp end, tell me how the, the whole you're, you're seeing that whole COVID picture and how it's informing your investment picture and your investment strategy. Yes, actually, the sentiment has been quite weak. If you like, if you look at the mutual fund space, we are not seeing, you know, sub uh, a significant inflow to the market. And secondly, if you look at the retail sales, you know, actually the saving rate in China, we're expecting to increase. So I think that impact the recent, you know, consumption. But having said that, I believe, you know, there are more kind of like targeted stimulus policy coming out. In particular, for example, in Shanghai, we are seeing some company or the government actually are giving out 2,000, you know, renminbi, you know, post-COVID for the training, you know, uh, uh, education or training purposes. So I think the uh, consumption will pick up, you know, after the, the lockdown. But we are expecting maybe early or mid-May that will be finished. So, I mean, you're talking about expecting more stimulus measures, and so many people are expecting these measures, and yet, at least on the monetary front, uh, we're not seeing those measures coming through. And as Sam just said, over at the Boao Forum, they're sticking to their GDP predictions. Uh, you know, how do you reconcile this big gap in between those expectations? I think we have to um, understand this is a big election year in the China, you know, uh, market, if you like, in October. So that's why I think the stimulus, the bullet has to be, you know, time out. And also we are thinking about where is the right time in terms of the monetary and physical stimulus. In particular, the physical stimulus, people are expecting about 3x more than what happened in OX. So we are talking about maybe 12 trillion, you know, renminbi type of type, kind of like stimulus. We're expecting maybe after the COVID, you know, maybe May or June, those big stimulus will coming in, in terms of, you know, physical stimulus, and that will trigger, you know, a kind of like market rebound. So I think in terms of valuation, it's getting very attractive. A lot of fund managers is waiting for increasing the exposure, but they are still monitoring in the current stage.